If something is impossible, that means it's pretty darn hard. Except for God, I guess, where all things are possible. We're going to launch into a series at St. Paul's and Church Unleashed that focuses on the impossible promises of God. And the first one that comes up is well-timed, the impossible promise of generosity. Spoiler alert, God was, is, and will always be generous to us. It's as simple as that. And because of that promise of God's generosity, we are invited to do the best we can with others. Look no further than how the state of our climate is impacting the world around us, especially in the Southeast over the past two weeks. Even as I type, Florida is bracing for another enormous blow. How can we show God's generosity through our actions in and after these storms? First, pray. Pray for those who are in the path and for those that will respond to help immediately after. Second, reach. Reach out to those you know who are dealing with the aftermath of these storms. Even when the news cycle moves on, those that were devastated will still be working the problem. Third, share generously. Share through financial gifts, through an organization you trust. Personally, I give through Lutheran Disaster Response, which you can find online because 100% of my gifts go to the affected area. Or make donations of stuff that is truly asked for and needed, not just stuff you want to get rid of, of supplies through folks that are linked into agencies on the ground and not just people self-deploying and making things more complicated. The good news is what launches our prayer, reaching and sharing was Jesus and his generous generosity for us and gave the impossible promise of redeeming all of us. May we respond to that impossible promise with our own generosity. So Lord, keep them safe. Inspire us to pray, reach, and share. Amen.